OK, so there are occasions when you might want to make a large hole in a piece of wood. And to do that, you can use a tool like this called a hole saw. There it is. This is the arbor, and this is the cutter. And the way you put it together is like this. These two pins actually transmit the force of the drilling machine onto the cutter. So what you do, undo that knurled screw, a nut rather, so that the pins fall down. Hold it that way up. Put the cutter on top and screw it in until you can't screw it any further, not tight. Turn it over and then unscrew it until the pins drop down. And then screw that nut down. That red bit should be slightly loose, that's normal. Right, now put it in, you'll notice the end of the arbor is a hexagon. So you put that in the chuck by making sure that just the hexagon end is gripped by the chuck jaws. Do it up by hand, make sure it's in there properly, and then take the chuck kit, which is on the chain behind the machine, and put it in the chuck and do it up tight, tight as you can. It must be held only on the hexagon end of the arbor. Now, <coughs> if you want your hole in the wood, you'll need to have marked it out. You just mark out the centre of the hole. And what you've got to do is make sure that the table is set at the right height. Now you can move the table up and down. In this case, I've got to put a block of scrap wood underneath, and then I've got to drop it down a bit to get the wood in. Now to do that, you take the weight of the table, and then loosen the nut at the back, the screw at the back rather, and drop it down a little bit. Hold it while you do it up, and there we are. Put the block of scrap wood on there, and position your um, this position you would so that it's going to be um, cutting in the right place. Now you might like to clamp it down. A big piece of wood like this, I probably wouldn't, but you might like to clamp it down. So the easiest way to do that is to use a G clamp, and sometimes you can get someone to hold that down so it doesn't move, and then do the clamp up. So that it's tight. Right, bring the guard down. You don't need that bit down, just screw that bit up, and then you're ready to go. Safety glasses on, hair tied back, no loose clothing, exactly the same as the last time you used the machine. Now, turn it on, and drill down. Every so often, bring it up to clear the shavings out of the, the slot. You'll need to push down gently. If you push down too hard, you'll, you'll stop the machine. When you get part way through, it's a good idea to turn the wood over because the pilot drill has already gone through. So you can line it up again on the other side and um, carry on drilling from the other side. So, once again, you can get someone else to hold it for you if you want to. But I'll just try and do it like this. So, line the drill up with the hole that's already there. Hold it down and then tighten up the clamp. Check it hasn't moved, and there we go. Now, when you've done that, you'll find that the bit of wood from the centre is cut, is still stuck in the in the cutter, which we'll get that in a minute. That's what you want, a nice clean round hole 
in your piece of wood. So to get this out, the easiest way to do it, if you, you, you can just pull it out and, and twist it, if not take the cutter apart the way I showed you to put it together and push it out that way.